Boys and girls, today I am going to take some built-in functions. Some author they call library functions, some they say built-in functions, some they say ready-made function. Matter is the same. Now already we have done this one in the class 9. Today I am going to use the built-in functions. In page number 13, there are plenty of built-in functions are there. I am going to introduce, I am going to use today seven of them which are quite frequently used. I am going to explain what is the purpose of these built-in functions or library functions or ready-made functions, whatever you call. But I am going to demonstrate with the parallel examples. Should I? Here I go. What is the built-in function or library function? As we all aware boys and girls, functions or method is one of the same. Some author they call built-in functions, some author they call library functions, some even they call ready-made functions. What do you mean by ready-made functions? This is the pre different, it's already programmed and kept. Just by writing the class name or math.sign means it gives the sign value. Math.cos, it gives you the cosine value math.tan which gives the tan value for everything the prefix has to be math where m is an uppercase now when i write abs this is what the argument what we write within the parenthesis is known as argument or parameter so this is the name of the function called as abs ABS is the shortest form of absolute function. Then, similarly, math dot sign. It gives you the sign value. If I write cos, it gives you the cosine value. If I write everywhere, math has to be there. If I write tan, it gives you the tan value. Similarly, if I write math dot POW, there are two parameters got to be there. POW is shortest power, form of power, raised to the power. X raised to the power Y. That's the meaning. POW is shortest, please do not pronounce it as power. Instead, it has to be shortest form of power. Now, then afterwards. Math dot logarithmic value. There are two logarithms are there, as you all know. One is called as natural logarithm, another one is called as common logarithm. In short, log base e and log base 10. What you use in the school level is called as log base 10, which is called as common logarithm. And whenever you are using natural logarithm, log base e, math dot log, this talks about the natural logarithm or log base e. If you want log base 10 means math dot log 10 we have to write. Right. Then afterwards you have a method called as math dot max. Math dot max. I am doing two parameters. Max function will find the maximum among the given arguments. Which one is 73 is bigger or 23, 24 is bigger? In this example, 73 is the maximum value. Hence, the result would be 73. If I make minus 73, 24, what would be the answer? Math dot max of minus 73, comma plus 24 means among these two, what is the maximum value is? Of course, plus 24 is higher. That's why the maximum value, the output of this method would be 24. Similarly, we have one more method called as math.min. Math.min means two parameters got to be there, which will give you the minimum of these two. Which will give you the minimum of these two. What is the minimum of these two would be? 7. 
Imagine instead of 40, I make it as minus 40. So among these two, which is the minimum value? Naturally, minus 40. So what would be the output of this min function would be? Minus 40. Is this clear? So there are two methods. Min function will give minimum of these two values. Max function will give maximum of these two values. ABS function will give you absolute value of absolute value of the given parameter. If I say, what is this absolute value? Absolute value means which converts negative value into positive. Positive remains positive. Absolute value means no negative values are allowed within the modulus. This is how we write. Absolute value of minus 4 becomes what? Plus 4. Absolute value of plus 4 remains plus 4. We don't say plus, it's 4. 4 means it's understood. So, ABS function will give you absolute value. Log function will give you logarithmic value. Then, one more method I would like to introduce, which is known as SVRT. What does it do? Square root of 456 would be 16. Whatever may be the value, SQRT is not as form of square root. Square root of this given parameter. What is the given parameter in this case is 256. The answer would be 256. Have you ever come across a negative number inside the square root? No. No one can resolve this. The moment you put a negative number inside the square root, it is irresolvable. That's why we call in complex numbers i is imaginary. i is equal to square root of minus 1. What do you mean by that? There is no number, such number exists, but we imagine. That's why it's called this imaginary number. What I'm trying to tell you is here, whenever you write SQRT, inside this, the parameter got to be a positive. What happens if you give negative? It is irresolvable. The argument is invalid. The function will not get executed. Such type of things one has to try. You guys got to try. System dot out dot print and then square root of 16. Math dot sqrt of 16. Right. It will give the answer as 4. Again you see system dot out dot print and then math dot square root of minus 16. You give it right. Immediately it says an error message. No negative number is allowed inside the square root. I repeat again, I am going to teach you with these seven functions. One, these three are called as trigonometry functions. I consider this one as all the three of them are same. Sine will give you sine value, cos will give you cosine value, tan will give you tangent value. So I consider these all the three functions are same. So this is the first function, this is the second function, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh. With the seven functions, I will convert. I am going to give some expressions in an algebraic form. That needs to be returned. That needs to be converted into the Java form. Should we go here? Now, here is a very simple expression. First expression is, most of you must be familiar with this formula. Ut plus of at square, which is given in an algebraic form. I wanted to convert this one into Java form. One cannot, you cannot type such type of algebraic expression in a uh, programming. This has to be converted into Java form. Here I go. Between u and t, it has to be u has to be t plus 1. Division is always written as slash into a into t square. You can write t into t or math dot t t comma 2 you can write whichever you want it you can write into t into t or same thing may be written as u t plus of a math dot Please note, what does this power function do? Power function will do x comma 2. What did I write here? t comma 2 means t square. 
t square can be written as t into t or everything is same except this t instead of t into t what did I do math dot par is shortest form of par t comma 2 means t square please do not raise this in t comma 2 this will not be written as superscript you are not supposed to write on top right unlike the algebraic expression t comma 2 you must write I will give you one more method how will you write this second one write this square root of a square plus b square how will I do it this is written in a algebraic form you will not find a square root on your keyboard instead what do you do whenever you come across a type of situation you must write math dot sqrt is the shortest form of square root instead of square root what do you have a square a into a you can write a into a or plus b into b please note you can write a into a or b into b otherwise you can write math dot pow a comma 2 also can be written and third function which i am going to do is which you guys are very very familiar minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2e how will i do it here i go what do you have minus b minus b plus what is written within the square root math dot wherever there is a square root math dot sqrt what do you have b square minus 4ac What is the denominator is? By 2 into a. We can do like this. Minus b plus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by. Whole divided by. So I am putting a pair of parentheses. Opening and closing here also. Here also opening and closing. Okay. What happens is this is in algebraic form and this is in a Java form. Now I would want to do the next example which is the fourth example is modulus of z to the power of 4 minus 13. I want to know the absolute value of this. How do I do it? I do it like this way. It's an algebraic form. Whenever there is a two parallel lines are drawn is known as absolute value. Absolute value or modulus. Mathematically is called this modulus. What does the modulus do? It converts. Do not get operate. Do not get confused with the modulus operator. Here in mathematics, modulus means absolute value. What does the absolute value will do? Which will convert negative value into positive. If it is positive, positive remains positive. Here I go. What do I do it? Whenever there is a two parallel lines, which are math dot a B S the shortest form of absolute value. What do you have? Z to the power of 4. Math dot your value Z comma 4 minus 13. Boys and girls, you must be wondering why can't you write Z into Z into Z into Z four times? It's a conversion job. For example, Z to the power of 13. Will you multiply 13 times? No. In that case, you have to use math dot bar. Please note every time you make use of the seven functions which I told you min, max, logarithm, bar, abs, sqrt, then followed by sine, cos, every time you use it, you got to write the class name for this math dot where m is an uppercase. Math dot abs means the whole lot will come into the absolute value. What do you have? Again, you have result to the power of four means math dot power z to the power of 4 pow is the form of power minus 13 so here are the four examples any mathematical function algebraic functions or trigonometry functions is given you cannot write as given that needs to be converted into java form here are the four examples i have given right kindly do practice in the following class i am going to take up a new chapter till then Kindly browse through the book and solve the exercise. Exercise and page number 36 and 37, quite a good number of 
algebraic expressions are there you convert from algebraic form into java form thank you boys and girls have a good day bye bye